So ayun na nga, pupunta na kami sa Lipa, Batangas at sasakay na kami ng bus. Nakakita mo ba si Ronel? Here we go, ayun na yung bus. Ronel oh. Good morning everyone. So ayun na nga, we're going to Batangas. And then, sa bus na pala kami ngayon. And here we go. Ganun yun. Yo, what's up? Nandito na kami sa jeep at kasama ko sila ang aring mga kagrupo Hindi po namin alam kung saan kami pupunta eh Sa totoo lang, naliligaw na po kami at may madami po kami kasama sa jeep Kaya na po sila at si Kuya Manong Driver, ibababa kami at si ate, hi We're going to Katid Drive Nakamalay ka na biyay eh Nakamalay ka kami biyay Well, sige, mamaya na lang ulit So, ngayon nga Naglakad na kami dahil sobrang traffic. Ngayon no umuumbon-umbon na kahit medyo may araw, pero tuloy pa rin. Nakita niyo, nakita niyo, tinamo ko naman. Ay no, no, no. Yung bundok na 'yon. Yan. Yan, kita. Kita yan. Hello. Hello pa. Hello. Magtat magtatanong muna ako saglit, magtatanong muna. Andito na kami ngayon sa Lipa Batangas. Saban. At naglalakad na po kami papunta sa Simba ngayon. Sa katedral. At ito. Ayan po. Ito ang katedral na pinupuntahan ng mga turista. <laughs> Nandito na kami. Ito. Nandito na kami. Naglalakad na kami, papunta. Bibilis na namin. Anong oras na? Nagugutom na rin kami. Sa gumala. Oh, yan na. Ganda ng view. Ganda mo. At nandito na nga kami Papasok kami Pasok po kami Yan Pasok po kami Pasok po kami Ayun Dito pala ang pasokan Okay, ibilis na namin As you can see Ito na po ang katedral Ayan po, papunta na po kami ng katedral. Papasok po kami. Tara! Ayan po, pasok na po kami. Pasok po tayo. Iwan na po ako dito. Okay, 
Ayan po, ayan po ang dalawa. Konting pong katahimikan dahil nasa loob po tayo ng simbahan. Ayan po, dito na po kami sa simbahan. masyadong tahimik dito dahil madaming nagdadasal kaya iikot na lang po namin kayo
Ayan, tuhog-tuhog muna po sila. <laughs> tuhog muna po kami. Tuhog muna Kalamares. po. Kalamares. Yes, sir. Iban. Ay. Ayun doon ako muna. So, ayun po, tuhog po muna kami. Kalamares. Ayun po na. Uy, say hi. Hi. Nakababa po namin ng bar. Pagkita mo ako yung Lipa. Ngayon, nandito po kami sa Lipa. Ayun na nga, papunta na po kami sa Taal. Sasakay na po kami ng jeep. Kakababa lang po namin sa bali. At hello, ito na nga. Buti nga, hindi umulan eh. So, ayun na po. Sasakay na po kami ng jeep. Puntang Taal po. See you later, guys. Hello, guys. Nandito na kami sa Taal. Dito na po yung Taal. Taal Church lang po to. Later po, baka puntahan po namin yung Taal Volcano. Itong Taal, so, na, po kami. Itong taal na madalas puntahan ng mga tulista ngayon po yo napapansin nyo binubugbog na ako ngayon kasi punta na po kami sa nakalimutan ko picture kayo di ba? may mga pictures na pictures meron ko meron ko yung gano'n like like wala ko na wala ko na wala ko na It is not only the basilica that is important, no? Or it is not only the attraction, but simply because it's the most prominent landmark. But then, if you even have to trace the Al history, it is important for everyone to know that long before it became Batangas, and for which originally it was once known as Batangan, coming from the word Batang, which means lots. Okay. Uh, no, no. Uh, Batang is actually uh, lots, no? Yung troso. And uh, they were actually kept afloat in Kalungpang River. And as I would have to say again, originally Batangas was once known as Batangan. Okay. Batangan. Now, uh, established in 1581. 1581. However, if you even have to trace history of the province, it was once even referred as La Provincia de Taal. Okay. Uh, all of these towns that make Batangas now were once part of the whole composition of the province which was, which was once known as La Provincia de Taal. Okay? Now, Taal as a town was established in 1572. Okay? Uh, coming from three different versions. Originally, when the early explorers asked the natives what is this place, uh, they were planting sugarcane top. Sugarcane top is actually Taal in Tagalog. So they thought that they were being asked what were they holding and what they were doing. 
So it was just actually in the basic response that is taan, which is the sugarcane top. In another version, the early explorers, uh, when they would have to reach a portion of the once wide channel of river, which is Pansipit. Pansipit River connects the sea and the lake. This time, it is the lake flowing towards west to the sea. Um, if they would have to reach a portion where they would have to see an abundant growth of a tall grass, which was once known as Tal'an, they would have to declare, we are now in Tal'an. However, for the many historians, they claim that the more authentic uh, version would have to be, when you say Ta'al, you are an authentic native of the place. So, Urika. So, in my case, describe me as Taal na Taaleño, kayo ay Taal na Manileño, or Taal na Tagigenyo. Okay? Now, um, you were asking about what makes Taal really as prominent. No? Aside from the Basilica, uh, we have houses which were actually the original residence of the more prominent historical figures. Ano po yung mga tradisyon na meron kayo po dito? Ah, marami. Mamaya, tatay dyan, no? Tapusin ko lang muna ito. Uh, maraming bahay dito na ika nga ang mas kilalang bahay ng tumahi ng watawat, bahay ng uh, isang revolusyonaryo na si Leon Apasible, uh, bahay na palaging pinupuntahan at naging headquarters ng revolusyonaryo ng mga batang genyo ang bahay ni Villa Vicencio. Uh, sila ay napakayaman na na-donate nila ang kanilang barko, ang kanilang bahay ay ginawang meeting place and for which in Philippine history when we talk about revolution, uh, the names like Andres Bonifacio, Emilio Aguinaldo, uh, these were prominent people in our history but prominent is the same that they have been frequenting Taal in those times. Okay? Now, uh, there are so many traditions in the town of Taal and more specifically when we say kapag uh, piesta, uh, meron kaming isang tradisyon na hindi hindi nakakalimutan. Ito ay Lua. That's L-U-W-A. Originally in the Spanish times, it was actually Loa. That's L-O-A. For which it was once known as or described as a dance with instrumentation and the singing. But over the years, it evolved into something like Lua, which is a eulogy in verse form, in varying meters, meters rather, and depending on how a young boy would be able to memorize at the minimum of 15, uh, at the maximum of 25 to 30 stanzas. No? The poem is actually, or basically, religious. So you give tribute to the patron saint, Saint Martin of Tours, for which to the many Taalenos and to the Batangenos, no? they give recognition to Saint Martin as the Savior, not saint. only as the Saint. So the Savior that when we are threatened of natural calamities, may bagyo, may patok, na, may patok ng vulkan, merong tidal wave, whatever, people in the town, especially the old people, would always have to resort to praying to Saint Martin, believing that Saint Martin can intervene and brought all people in Taal to sing. There's a reason why uh, during these calamities when everybody need to evacuate, people from the lower grounds, Lemery at iba-iba pang mga bayan, ay itang ay antakbo ay sa Taal. Kahit sabihin mong may lindol sa simbahan because ang paniwala nila ay sila ay magbibigyang proteksyon ng San Martin. Okay. I mentioned about Lemery. I need to mention just the same that uh, San Luis, Agoncillo, San Nicolas, and Santa Teresita, these are five towns surrounding Taal now, which have been part of the original Taal. Okay? Uh, more than uh, that you should know, Taal was once the province, but Taal, which was once a town, was even composed of these five towns that I mentioned surrounding Taal now. Okay? Ah, okay. Now, uh, importante na kapag bumisita ka sa Taal, uh, aside from your uh, discovery or exploration of these beautiful uh, cultural landmarks, the more important thing is for you to taste what can be too flavorful and distinctive of Taal dishes. Marami yan, okay? Number one is adobong manok at baboy sa dilaw. 
Okay? Dilaw is actually turmeric, the root brand. Okay? Yung, yung tinatawag na sa Maynila na luyang dilaw. Okay? Um, sa kanila or sa amin, we've grown up with that particular dish and the dish is not at all as complete if it's not uh, with the main ingredient with this turmeric. So, adobong dilaw. Now, uh, too bad that just like what happened to galunggong, which is actually now being imported, uh, too bad that we already have a, uh, an uglier or a bad version of the famous tulingan sa Batangas. Pag sinabi mong bat Batangas, ang tatanungin agad ng ibang nakakaalam at nakakabasa, saan ho pwedeng kumain ng masarap na sinaing na tulingan? Okay? It is also another delicacy or an important culinary contribution here. Okay? Number three is, pag sinabi mong, ay, gusto mo ga ang native barbecue? Okay? Ang native barbecue sa amin ay lahat, pag sinabi mo, ay magpapabulak ng isang buong ulo ng baboy, ginagawa siyang tinindag. Tinindag is actually a term to basically describe steward. Okay? Yung pangtusok. Okay? At pag sinabi mong tinindag, itong mga parte ng ulo ng baboy, ha, hindi siya nilalagyan ng commercial uh, marinade. Okay? Ginagamitan lang siya ng kaunting asen, paminta, kalamansi, at uh, pinagbabarang uh, anato. You know what is anato? Yung ikang ay atsuete. Sa Batangas, ang tawag ay atsuete. Okay? Pag sinabi mong ang karne ay binabad sa atsuite, meron siyang ibang klaseng lasa at pinasasarap pa kapag ito ay uh, pinigaan o pinisaan ng kalamansi. Okay. Now, the other thing that is important when you talk of cuisine in Taal is that the most famous tapang Taal. Tapang. Okay? Tapa for some people would always have to be beef. Pero sa amin dito, merong available na beef pero mas marami ang pork tapa. Okay? Pag sinabi mong pork tapa sa Taal, uh, it's not like what you buy from the grocery we're in. Uh, it has some preservatives, it has some other chemicals. But tapang Taal is basically marinated with soy sauce, a lot of kalamansi, and garlic. Okay? Yung uh, bawang. Okay? Binababad at pinasasarap. Okay? Uh, I would even have to say, hindi lang in the recent years sumikat ang tapa because Way back early 50s, marami nang nagtitinda ng tapang taal. Hindi lang katulad ngayon, ah, dumoble sila uh, or more than or times 10 sila ngayon sa dami. Because tapang taal has become a food attraction that any guest would not at all miss buying it as pasalubo. Okay? Now, ano pa? Meron pa kaming isang delicacy which is similar to what uh, people uh, are familiar with which is kilawin. Okay, ang sa amin, ang tawag doon ay taghilaw. Uh, tag, I don't know kung bakit naging taghilaw, but it's basically or similar to what can be kilawin. Only that, what makes it even more delicious is that it will never be an authentic uh, taghilaw if you don't have big brain in it. Yes, okay? So, gina, ginagamitan siya ng utak ng baboy. Bukod sa pampalapot, ito ay pampasarap. So, all what can be white particles that you see in the dish are actually pig brain. Okay? Now, isa pang masarap sa taal ay ika nga ay ang pinakamahal na ano, long, ay, longganisa, hindi pa mahal, pero sikat din pero ang pinakamahal na isda which is maliputo. Maliputo which is endemic in the lake, which is only found in the lake uh, which would range at the price of about 650 to 750 per kilo. However, the supply is actually very very low. The supply is something like you will always have to depend and book orders from among fisher folks who are actually into regular catching of the maliputo. Okay, maliputo is best as uh, inihaw o kaya ay sinigang. Okay, so these are the some of the dishes that make taal even more, more popular as something like a best uh, culinary treat. Okay, ano pa? Anong anong ako? Sabi po ng marami is Taal daw ay magandang puntahan ng mga turista. Ano, ano, po, ano, ano po yung mga magandang ah, okay. puntahan? Kanina nasabi ko na na napakarami. No? But uh, to give a general description, when you are in Taal, you need to discover the three C's. Uh, cultural treasures, crafts, and cuisine. Okay? So these are just the attractions. 
that make Ta'al something like when you are here more than what can be a historical reawakening or heritage uh, beeping. Like for example, uh, marami kang nakikitang lumang bahay, maraming museums, at lahat, uh, all of heritage value, ay uh, ikaw nga ay para bagang ibinabalik ka sa unang panahon yes, at para Bro, bagang ba? sinasabi sa iyong hindi ka ngayon kung hindi mo mabibigyang appreciation ang ating So ayun po natap- So ayun na nga natapos na natin ang mga bahabang vlog